What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lufferfella and welcome to our brand new server of Ark Survival Evolved. We moved to this bad boy. Um, the Gone Rogue server, basically I learned a lot of lessons. One of those lessons was do not sell, tell the world that you're going to wipe the alpha because sometimes people are going to tell other people that you're going to wipe the alpha. It's not going to work out. So uh, yesterday we kind of talked a little bit. I believe this was yesterday. Um, talked to the tribe mates. We kind of decided like this is not going to work with me recording there every single day. So we looked around for a new server, found a cluster server with... 10 times rates. I'm trying to pick something up to show you, I believe. So decent, pretty decent rates. I think it's more entertaining personally for videos. Like, yeah, it's not official, but I mean, we got a metal base in like one day with our tribe. So it's pretty awesome. And uh, I just kind of want to show you real quick what this base looks like because it's what's up, dude. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Got, got Mr. Krabs over here. Oh, so I'm recording. You should tell people what your job is right now. Uh, my job is to be a complete boss here and tell everybody what to do and build and gather. He's and, a face painter. Craft. He's a professional oh, face I'm a painter. Prof okay, let me redo it. Let me redo it. He's Hello. redoing it. My name is John. I am a professional face painter. That's the coolest thing in the I world. This kids this is what he did. This is what a professional fa face painter can get you. Beautiful looking Rex. <laughs> it really took me a minute. My hand did hurt though after I did that. Off the record, I could do better. Yeah, I'm totally kidding. That's no, awesome. no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I, uh, I am a professional face maker. You are. I travel. BF. I travel for uh, six months out of the year. Um, and I go all okay. around the United States from Indiana to Florida. Uh, my whole family is actually a family of face painters. My sister and my mom do it also. That's amazing. That is so amazing. I'm, I don't know. That's so cool. Doesn't that sound like the coolest job ever? Like just be a face painter. Like that'd be awesome. <laughs> I would suck at it though. Anyway, let's show you this base. It's perfectly foggy right now, just what we want. So welcome um, to the Hobbit Hole. Come yeah, on it's in, the guys. Hole. Pimp, pimp my ride. Pimp Come my on pimp. in. Oh my gosh, who Go are all these people? I don't shed. even know. Come on know. in, guys. Welcome yeah. to the other side. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. The other side is. So this is the Hobbit Hole. This is the front entrance into our base. <laughs> and uh, dude's singing daddy. right now, but I'm just gonna Shut turn it down so you don't hear it in my video. This is the main room of the base right here. Have yourself a drink at the, at the hearth. This is fantastic. We have some, uh, have some uh, premium uh, moonshine up in here. You're gonna get a little hazy tongue if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So basically, he built this little hangout room over here. Put some beer in the middle with a nice beer keg so we can hang out, drink some beer, sit by the fire. This is the living quarters up here. Door because, you know... I get I get down that way and you know free love and all. This is my yeah. bed, stains and all. Very uh, nice. <laughs> and then up, over here, this is this is the Catholic Catholic mission. Oh, it has a bed, oh, stains oh, and all. Interesting, interesting. Um, and then then over here, this this is where this is where this is where the Satanists live, right next to the Catholics, because you know that's that's how they roll. Oh, so it looks like we have an upstairs uh, room. Is, I don't know. This is gonna be like dino room. storage this or something. This is where we go to uh, hide the bodies. Uh, this is where we hide our bodies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Stains Thank you, Pirate John, for explaining I that go to us. And tame the RG so yeah, basically Pirate John did most of the work, or at least a lot of the work. I don't want to say most of it. Uh, we do have a pretty big tribe. Shout out to everyone here who did all the work because I did none of it because I've been studying all day. Stains and all. Um, oh. Because you know we get we get down that way. Very nice, a to-do board. Room. Wow, that's nice. A little nice. defense here. Another bed, stains and all. Very good, um, very good. This is beautiful. Oh, right we have a secondary tribe. All right, I guess we'll all. go see what the secondary um, tribe is. Come through here. This is our. We're gonna have. We're gonna have a uh, plant X's all around the entire foundation. Now, this, okay. This, this, very this cool. is the pride and joy. This is. I, I can't get over this, man. Get I'm so excited. I'm so excited out. for stains this. And all. Um, where is it? Here it is. This. This is our. This is our main base. This is where <laughs> we're gonna raid from. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is <laughs> this, wow! <laughs> this is it. This is Stains and all. This is you fantastic. Know. I mean, you can't get a better spot than this. No way. No <laughs> way. Can we all do like a like a little Indian ritual around this? Humba yumba, humba yumba, humba yumba. Don't know what that was about. Ooh, ooh we're sacrificing the parasaur. <laughs> that's too that's too violent to put in my video. Stains I can't do all. that. I think you've been playing too much, man. It should take a break. <laughs> So yeah, guys, we have an awesome tribe. Pirate John is so cool. I love playing with him. He, he's just really good. He plays ARC too much, I think. He's got... So this is the server I'm playing on right now. Like, I talked about the RP one yesterday, and honestly, I really want to do it, but no one plays on it. No one plays on that server. That's a lot of rocks. Really weird that I can hold it. I forgot we had high rates right now. No one plays on that server. Like, literally no one. It's like one person right now, and I'm not sure if... Like, basically, to play, I kind of feel like I would have to recruit people to play with us. 
and uh, I don't know if now people will join us. So it's kind of like on the back burner right now. Or maybe when I release my own server, I will do something like that and like make it an RP style. I just think it would be so... I thought we had two Quetzals for a minute. I was like, seriously, they did that already? This is all done without me, by the way. So all those people, they're like, dude, you never you never even play. You never even do work in your own tribe. You have permission to say that stuff right now. Dude, I did nothing on this. And I'm probably not going to do much until after tomorrow in less than 24 hours when I take down my very last exam. What is this? Oh, an egg and poop collector. Now that... Is something that should be in regular arc. This is a thatch and fertilizer. Power and turn on to send stored thatch and collect fertilizer from composite bins. Wow, that's nifty. This is just a regular storage box. I guess we're storing a whole crap ton of wood in there. And uh, very cool to have some allosauruses. I've never actually had any allosauruses before. But uh, if you guys were curious, let's get the weight up a smidge so we can actually... Okay, that actually went up five times. We're not going not gonna to talk about that. Uh, this server, I believe, was white for a month ago. And the Alpha Tribe here has been in power for a month. From what I understand, from what my tribe's told me, he is a solo player. He has like one single base by himself, but it's a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good base. Um, although considering the progress we're making in a short amount of time, I'm pretty sure we're going to be Alpha in no time on this server. Even better, I listened to some advice, changed my name to Pirate Fella, and uh, I am mildly weird looking, I guess. I tried to resemble it after me, because I'm big. Just kidding, I'm not big at all. And... <laughs> Um, I guess we're gonna try to become alpha here really quick and try to do a bunch of raids, try to do some fun things here. Yep, this is pretty nice here. This is beautiful. <laughs> As, you know, after long days of work, you sit around the fire. It's, <laughs> it's what I live for. So I won't lie, when you join a server like this where you're just kind of in with so much stuff done so quickly, it's kind of overwhelming. Like, I am still, like, learning where things are. I don't even know if we have a... I feel like we do. We have to have a storage room, right? That's a very good place for a little sleep-out room. Who's this guy? Mr. The Spectro. Interesting spot for you, my man. Oh, okay. This is our little storage room. So these are, like, mega ball or mega storage chests where they have, like, a ton of health on them. So, um, they're kind of like vaults. They take less damage from rockets and stuff like that. It's just one of the mods in the game. A lot of things that you're seeing here are mods. This is a mod. It's, like, a super good vault, but it's super tiny. So you don't have to waste all that space with a big vault. A couple other things here are mods. Um, I don't know. I don't I feel like that's probably not a mod. That thing's probably one of the artifacts, if I had to guess. <gasps> Look at the painting. Going off the emergency escape door. And uh, Pirate John here is going to fly me over to the Alpha Tribe. Hopefully I don't weigh a million pounds, but it's pretty possible that I do. Apparently Alpha Tribe lives right next to us. They have no idea that we're here until you guys tell them, because I know you will, <laughs> like, every single episode. It's so, up by the Oasis. By the oasis. That's a really cool spot. Oh, this is our future target. That is going to be a fun. We raid. will be victorious. Blood so will this rain in the sky. This is our future raid, guys. We somehow set we up will right next take to them. Their families. We will eat their and babies. And destroy their culture. They will be nothing but a stains and all spot on the course of history. Huzzah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at a little baby fabricator. Look how tiny that thing is. That's the cutest little fabricator I've ever seen in my entire life. I've seen a lot of fabricators in my day. This has got to be the cutest one. Okay, guys, look at this mod. So it's called Starter Kit. You craft it and it costs one stone. And then all you have to do is go to your inventory, click on it right here, and click Use Item. And then it gives you metal tools, a torch, a spyglass, and a compass. So it's like all the main things you're going to need. That's actually really awesome because... Once you play for a while, you don't really need to go through the process of grinding everything again. It's just kind of annoying. I like I like your uh, your pink. That's uh, very stylish. Thank you. Uh, Thank is that you. is that the new uh, 1970 uh, cosmic cosmic girl power? All right, guys, you have a pretty good understanding of what our base looks like, what our plans are in the future. I think I've gone over that pretty well. I'm coming out here because Pirate John keeps singing. <laughs> I don't want to listen. He's coming back. He's coming back. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. What the heck? <laughs> I gotta turn my torch out. I'm leaving this tribe. I I just trained that. I trained that. I just <laughs> it too. That's what's known as a ring a dang do. I wish you guys could see my face right now. Ring a dang do. I'm going. Ring a dang I'm just running this direction. He's not gonna find me. Just he just sings. He just sings a lot, man. So uh, me and Mr. Dago, don't know who any of these people are, are gonna go tame a dinosaur inside a cave because I'm not really doing anything right now. I'm just kind of hanging out. Really, I'm only here because I don't want to study because I know my exam tomorrow is going to murder me. All right, me and Dago are going to tame something right now. Don't know what we're going to tame. Uh, oh, I, I didn't bring any uh, trank arrows or anything, my man. So while we're here and flying, let's talk real for a minute. Um, I want to thank you guys right now. Every single person who's been leaving. How does he, how's he keep finding us? Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love him. But 
You guys have been really good at supporting me and helping me get through. Uh, shall, shall I sing a song for the, uh, for the trip? That would be fantastic. <laughs> Why? Please don't Man. sing for us. Please don't. <laughs> no, no. Only fools Archie, rush you need no speech. shit. <laughs> no. But I no. can't help falling in love with you. Please die. <laughs> Take my hand. No. Take no. my whole world. Turn the torch off, you can escape. You can escape. With, with you. you can escape. <laughs> like a river. Dude, flow. this is so funny. Take my whole base too. If I can't help grinding in love with you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. I'm episode one raid, taking down Thatch Hut. Raiding Guys, is old school. Look at this, oh, 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 oh that's the next oh, level. Oh, break Giving the him meta. The paint, spray paint. Dude, a high level frog is really fun. Anyway, guys, I keep laughing so much these guys are hilarious to play with, but thanks for kind of like giving me the, uh, just kind of the strength and the, what's going on? I don't know. For giving me like just the inspiration, you guys are like helping motivate me to get through my finals. And I never thought you guys would be helping me. I feel like I want to help you, but then to realize that on the average day, I feel like you help me more than I help you. Like, I, I leave your, I read your comments, I read your, your um, good words, your encouragement, all that stuff. I just want to say thanks for all that, because I know you guys don't have to do that, and it just feels awesome. So let's get in this cave. Let's give you guys an awesome episode, because it's been a while since I've actually done anything. I'm gonna knock him down. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm leading the charge of this one. Who said, oh, Pirate John's not coming. <gasps> oh, look at all the chitin, oh, baby. This is, what the heck, is that a bat? I'm, this, okay. Shows you how infrequently I've been in a cave because I've honestly never in my, what? I've never seen most of these. What's going on? I need to play, I can't. Oh, baby, this is difficult. This is, I hope he doesn't die. He's gonna die and it's gonna be my fault because I just can't steer this thing. He's so fast. So apparently there's new dinosaur in here. No idea that that's a thing, but. <gasps> Oh no, 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 no. I got too excited for that. Let's get him. Let's get him. We got the tongue. The bats are difficult to kill with a frog, I won't lie. But this is pretty awesome, man. I don't get to come in these caves very frequently because I don't know where most of them are. I think. Wasn't there one back there? Oh, there he is. Airborne. Look at this. Tongue in the air. Blah, blah, blah. Is this an. Oh! Oh, didn't the island recently like rework caves or something? This must be like one of the newer caves. Let's see what's in the crate. Ascendant Carbonus Saddle. Alright, got some bats back here, dude. This is so fun. This is a great study break. One more thing I was thinking about while I was studying. I'm gonna see if I can like actually talk about something while like kind of doing something a little more intense than normal. And ooh. Ooh, look at that. Should I just jump on in? Not in the water. This is gonna be difficult. I'll tell you that right now. There's so many things down here. Spiders, giant, millipede, tentacle guys. This is good. This is great. Oh, and there's a freaking alligator that just came out of the water. This is like a oh, battle wow. montage off of like a freaking movie, man. This is so brutal. There's so many spawns down here. But anyway, okay, I'm going to try to tell the story now. I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling. I'm working on homework. I'm super tired, super exhausted. You know how that you know how it goes. And then out of nowhere, I decide, you know what? I'm going to put some Christmas music on. So I start playing some Christmas music. Put on a little peppermint, good good smelling stuff, some uh, essential oil. And I kind of just put myself in a really good mood. And I realized I just went from like a really stressed out bad mood to instantly feeling pretty awesome, feeling pretty great. And uh, that just, I want to remind you guys, when you feel bad, you have the control to change it and make sure you have a good day. So like if your day's sucking right now, which don't lie, your day might be sucking. Don't lie to yourself and say it's not if it is, all right? If your day sucks, it sucks. So make it better. You guys have the power to do something small. Get yourself in the Christmas spirit. Get your friend a nice Christmas gift. Like just do something really good. It'll make you feel better. Like for me, adding on the uh, music and the good smell and stuff made it. Ooh, you, you know what he's doing. It just made a really nice. big difference for me. Like it just made me feel really happy. So do, find out what makes you happy. Is it essential oils? I think they're fake, but I think they smell really Oops. freaking delicious. I was following him, guys. That's why they smell good. I don't know if they actually do what they say they do, but I love them. Figure out what you love and like do that kind of thing all the time you can. That was like very weird phrasing. I understand that, but you guys understand the point. Like, what is this really where we came in? This seems like such a barren area. Oh, uh, there it is. 
So that's my message for today for everyone out there struggling to stay positive, struggling through finals, struggling through whatever you may be struggling through. You got to find something good and kind of add it in. Maybe it's like a movie. Like for me, I used to hate Mondays in high school a lot. So I would make Mondays like watch a movie day, like on Netflix or whatever. Um, Mondays aren't as bad anymore now that I'm trying to use them to like prepare for the rest of my week. But just find something you like. I can't tell you what that is because it's different for everyone. Like what you might like may be different than what everyone else likes. Make it some kind of reward, like a reward system. You like playing ARC? Study for an hour, then play ARC for 10 minutes, whatever it is. Um, Whether it's ARC, whether it's studying, whatever it is, that's what I want you guys to take away from this one. So remember that. I think it's going to make a difference. By the way, I think I look pretty nice, don't I? That's a pretty good looking pink paint right there. And (laughs) look at the little frog. (laughs) So cute how they do that. All right, guys, let's take a look at what we got from this little run here. 2,000 chitin, we got, do, 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 do. well, 2,000 chitin. I guess it stacks like that because we have giant stacks. All right, guys, we're at the second cave now. I, I've never been to any of these caves, actually. I didn't know they were here, so props to uh, Mr. Doggo for knowing where they all are. All right, let's see what we have in here. I love the blue mushrooms. This actually, what? Well, that was surprising. I didn't, what the? Oh, my gosh, look at this. How would you learn how to get around here if you weren't, like, maxed out? Oh, man, we got a little bat up there. Some peaceful dung beetles, which is nice. What? We just instantly tame a dung beetle? That, that must be, like, a weird item or something. Whole bunch of bats in here, man. This is such a cool cave. There's a lot of effort put into these. I know they went through the cave redesign lately. And it's nice. It's a good feature. All right, I guess the only way to go is down this little spiral staircase here. Look at all the chitin. Like, I see this, and I'm just seeing metal walls and explosives, man. <laughs> that is what this looks like to me. Okay, sounds good. He's going to make some parachutes. Rip, 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 rip. Oh, gosh. Oh, da, 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 da. No, we're going to talk about that. It all worked out. Man, you want the loot crate. You want the loot crate. Even if that means dying for it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Ascend it high, dad. Man, I'm falling way too fast. That was that was really scary. I don't know how much health this guy has, but I was uh, kind of afraid he'd die right there. That would have been pretty anticlimactic. Okay, so I think I understand. It looks like the artifact is inside that really, really cool glowing spherical area. I know a lot of people already know this, whatever. I don't know it because I haven't been playing a lot lately, as you guys know. So I'm really excited to get in there and see what this is like. And this is probably, I don't know, maybe it won't be super long. I'm probably going to have to edit a lot. Look at all these bats. Oh, my goodness. Imagine coming down here. On a regular rate server without an invincible Befuzzblio. Befuzzblio. Beezle Belzebifo. I don't know, man. I don't know how to say it. You don't know how to say it either. Don't pretend like you do. <laughs> Took all those care of. Took care of all those. Now, this is the new artifact. Artifact container contains the artifact of the Devourer. And it gives us that really cool special effect. So I really like how that looks. That's pretty awesome. Now, if only my buddy can come find us and save me. All right, guys, so on my more action-y videos, I personally struggle to find things to talk about. Like, cause, uh, you know how, like, some videos I'll just, like, talk the whole time about, like, nice, cool life things, whatever, whatever I'm talking about for the day? When I'm playing games like this, I'm more focused on the game itself. Like, when I'm, like, in caves, killing stuff, PvP, and raiding. I think you guys understand that. Like, it's just difficult. Oh, no! Also, if you're wondering why I'm hurted, hurting so bad right now, it's just because I have, like, no health, because I just leveled up my health a whole bunch. Now, I have absolutely... Oh, I thought that torch was going to work under here, and I got so excited. I'm not sure how to get out of here. Nope, 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 not going to do without a frog. Not going to do without a frog. All right, guys, so we just went to two caves, got two artifacts. Pretty fun, and I'm showing you guys my brand new modded base. So this is probably what the future will be. So the future is looking like we'll play on this server for a while. We'll probably get some uh, some raids going down. And as for people joining us, we will have a new system, we will have a new Discord, all that will be set up by me the day that you're watching this video, and you'll actually kind of hear about it probably on Saturday or Sunday, but I gotta focus on my exams before I go through like the process of how we're gonna bring people into the tribe. But if 
I get a reasonable number of people who want to apply to the RP server that I'm looking at. Maybe we can all get into that because it looks really nice. It's really organized. Really, really cool stuff. And uh, it's probably, oh, that this might not be good. Uh oh. <laughs> it might only be good if we can get a lot of people because right now it looks kind of unactive. So I'm not really sure or inactive. I just don't know how well it's going to be. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. I love you all very much, and I'll see you all tomorrow.